What's up guys? This is Save Knight and welcome to another Let's Play series. Today's game I'm going to be working on is come on. Come on. Brought to you by Konami. And the game I'm working on is Castlevania Curse of Darkness for the PS2, or PlayStation 2, whatever you prefer to call it. 1986 to 05, 05 really? Konami. Oh, opening cutscene. So for those of you that actually aren't familiar with this one, um, uh, this one in the uh, Castlevania timeline is supposed to take place like a couple of years after Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. And um, the new animated Castlevania series actually kind of touches briefly on this. It's mainly supposed to be about Castlevania 3, but then where they're at right now looks like it segues into Curse of Darkness because Hector does make an appearance in that. And the other guy they just showed in this little animated thing was Isaac. They redid his graphic to like another person for some reason. I don't know why they did that. That's like super weird. And this is actually the second um, Castlevania game made for PS2. The first one was A Lament of Innocence, which I've actually done before, like a couple years ago. 1476, Palatia. A great war raged between Dracula and humanity. Just when it seemed that there was no hope for mankind to prevail, out of the darkness and despair, a champion arose. A true-blooded vampire hunter named Trevor Belmont. Belmont and his comrades triumphantly slew Lord Dracula. A truly glorious victory for all. However, the evil one did not pass from this world in silence. With his final words, Lord Dracula left a demonic curse that enshrouded all of Europe in misery and torment. Ravaged by hideous plague and dire famine, the people's hearts turned black and murderous. The weak were slain without pity, while the land was pillaged and scourged without remorse. Three years have passed since the death of Lord Dracula, and the invocation of Dracula's curse. Well, that's just mean. <clears throat> Yourself, Isaac. I know you're here. Hector, is that you? 
I finally tracked you down. <laughs> you tracked me down. <laughs> I can't imagine. I was the one who lured you here. Hector, the fool who betrayed our Lord Dracula. That matters not. I've come to exact my revenge upon you. For the death of Rosalie! Oh, and how will you have this revenge? <laughs> when you are utterly at my mercy, you relinquished your powers. You couldn't even protect your own woman. And now you think to defeat me? <laughs> Lord Dracula is gone, but his powers are still here in Valacia. Even you must realize. Devil forging. Indeed, with this the most forbidden of arts, a wisp of conjured matter can be transformed into a hellish devil. There are but two humans who possess this magnificent power. You and I. <laughs> yes, to our lasting shame. But I shed that evil power. Never again will I use it! Ah, but you will, Hector, and soon you have no choice. Without it, I could crush you in an instant. But that wouldn't be very satisfying, now would it? You deserve a most gruesome fate for the humiliation you brought upon me three years ago. Bereft of the power of devil forging, you cannot hope to pursue me. That is why you will reclaim your powers and thence follow where I lead you. <laughs> but in the end, the glorious vengeance you seek will not be yours. It will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Claim that accursed power once more. Heed my words. I will hunt you down like the beast you are. I will have my revenge. That was a. L I'm like almost ten minutes, and I'm not even starting the game yet. So, yeah. So I can't imagine why they um, changed Isaac's appearance. I mean, it was a little weird looking. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the damn controls. This is the freaking thumbstick I gotta use for this crap. But yeah, so all that awesome fighting that you saw him doing that little cutscene, where the hell was that in the animated one? They made him like a little bitch in there. I don't know what the hell was up with that. Yes, I know I'm going the other way because there's a thing I can get. Okay, so you just walk into it, okay. Oop, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Got they're inverted. Oh, God. Ugh. And a lot of people have crapped on this game. Because they said it's not Lament of Innocence. I mean, it's not supposed to be Lament of Innocence. I mean, that's an actual Belmont doing Belmont things. Grab uh, the potion. And then this right here, the Moai. This actually won't be here unless you have a Lament of Innocence save on your uh, memory card. Agent Moai Starving is very valuable. Those are interesting. You can either sell it for a shit ton of money at the shop or you can use it for a full heal and I just keep it just to keep it but um they ragged on this game for um not being very open like it was in Lament of Innocence like yeah there were a lot of corridors but it was most like it was like a corridor then it opened up into like a big room then maybe like a smaller corridor then like another big room this one it's like 
not so much that, it's like just like a long series of corridors and pretty much all the stages. But I mean, I really didn't give a crap about that. I mean, it didn't bother me like it did a lot of other people. I mean, like a lot of people, you know, were bugged by that. You know, there's like no open exploration, I mean. Okay, I can double jump for start. I can't remember if I could or not. Start. You know, they did go back to the, you know, the... They decided to go with like an XP system, like Symphony of the Night. Like, you can go like head, weapon head, armor, and two accessories. Uh, you can get a thing that lets you do two of them. Uh, I mean, do an extra one to make three. Uh. A lot of other shits I can't do right now. Can't do any of that. Okay, okay, I can see damage, I can see the enemy names. And I can guard by pressing the R1 button. Oh, I can turn it off? Oh, fuck that. I'll turn that shit off. No, stop. Stop it. Attack, defense, strength, constitution, luck, XP, next. Option, let me see. That's fine. So you have your attack and defense, that's like your actual, like, how much damage you do in defenses. Defense against enemies, but then your strength and constitution factor into that too. I think it's like every two or three points of strength your attack goes up, and then every two or three constitution... Okay, it's every two strength, you get one attack. Every two constitution, you get one defense. That's short sword. A simple, functional sword. Sturdy, good for taking on groups, and easy to keep under total control. Ah, shit. God damn it. Stop it. God, I'm trying to remember how to freaking play this. Okay, circle to go into thing. Because uh, my PS2 is a little bit on the dust side. to the last registered save point. actually blocked by a stuff. Ah, oh, you bastard. Picked up some bronze. That's used for smithering later. You can actually pick up an ability to let you make shit. I can't get anything from that. I don't know why I even hit that. You can, like, <clears throat> equip it to, like, things that you can either find or you can make. She's like the long empty corridor. Quick step. 
The Quick Step is a very quick evasive move. While performing a Quick Step, Hector will be invulnerable. Use the Quick Step to definitely evade enemy attacks. Guard button, plus left, analog stick, and jump button. So just nya, and then just nya. Oh, the puppy. Generate level 5. Oh, puppy. Oh, poor doggo. Going the right frickin' way. Because there's. You have to go one way to get a something, then go the other way. Castle map, overall map of the area lacking in finer details. So now I have a full map. This shit talking. I think I actually might be going the right way. Shit, I fucking locked out. Level up. Ooh. Wild memory. Materials. Deep bluish bronze. Pretty common as a material and not that strong, but has many uses. Wild's memory, a strange stone fragment with ancient memories carved on it, used for simple weapons. Can't do any of that stuff yet. I mean, you do actually find some weapons and armor, but like, few and far between, you more than often have to actually make it them yourself. Yes, I did go the right way. Yay, I'm not a complete worthless piece of crap, Zack. This unearthly power. Is it coming from that tombstone? <laughs> How conscientious of him. He carved the instructions into stone along with the most difficult visualization. So, that's how badly he wants me to regain my powers. Very well. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness! Release him with the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living. Immaculate being, appear before me now! See, they kind of had Devil Forging depicted, like, differently in the animated series. Like, he can actually turn, like, you know, anything dead and, like, turn it into a fiend. Well, well. Devil forging, isn't it? 
Never seen that before. Quite impressive. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Who are you? Oh, my apologies, my lord. I should have offered an introduction. I go by Zed. I'm here for one purpose only. To purify this land of the pestilent curse which infects it. I see. You, on the other hand, are pursuing the other Devil Forge Master, are you not? The one you seek fled toward the chapel on the other side of the mountain. He made his escape through the back of the castle. What concern is this to you? He is the one protecting the curse. Ergo, he is an impediment to me and to all those who abide in this land. I see. Very well. I, Hector, thank you for your help. Now, if you'll forgive me, I must be on my way. Because, like, they actually depicted it, like, he just put, like, a dead body on the table, it actually hides on top of a magical hammer, and this devil entrant fairy appears. I'm not gonna bother with names, that's fucking good enough. To innocent devils. Innocent Devils are the mystical, untainted familiars created by Devil Forge Masters. Innocent Devils have absolute loyalty to their creator. Summoned ID may grant status enhancements to Hector. Status enhancements can be examined on the status screen. Innocent Devils use hearts as energy. Whenever they take damage or use a special ability, their heart energy will decrease. They lose all their hearts, the ID will revert to soul form. At that point, they will simply hover around Hector. Hector gathers enough hearts, the ID soul can then be restored to material form. Innocent Devils cannot die. Innocent Devils level up with experience points by defeating enemies, just like Hector. When an enemy is defeated by either Hector or the ID, both Hector and his ID will gain experience. An ID must be summoned for it to receive any experience points, however. To truly succeed, it level up both Hector and his Innocent Devils. God! Push up or down a directional button to change the AI setting of the ID. Setting the mode to auto instructs the ID to act on its own. In auto mode, the ID's manner of attack and use of special abilities are dictated by its own reasoning. Setting the mode to command allows Hector to directly control the ID's actions. In command mode, the ID tends to stick closer to Hector and targets the same enemy that Hector is battling. In this mode, innocent devils will not use special abilities that consume hearts unless they are told to do so. To use an ID's special ability, select the ability with the left or right directional button. Press the ability button to activate it. Use the two modes effectively to make battles easier for Hector. Characteristics of Fairy Type Innocent Devils Tends to float around the player. They have the ability to open up treasure chests. They can also restore HP or heal status ailments. So that's like a healing type. Like some of the later ones do actually have um, offense type, but. There. Thank you. God, useless piece of shit. Dragon crest. Crest made from the carved dragon bone. Looks like it should be placed into something somewhere. Chest for nothing. Ah, 
I kind of, I initially was afraid that I went the wrong damn direction because I have the habit of doing that. Because you go the other way, you get all the way to this one part. It's like, oh, you can't go any further. You got to go all the way back to this part. So if I would have went the other way from that first save point. brought me like way to fuck somewhere else. Of course, it didn't help if like the, you know, I'm probably gonna cut it back when I get to, um... And of course, the last enemy drops a uh, Rosario. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? I don't know why I just destroyed that for. You know, it wouldn't help... Because I'm probably going to cut it when I get back to, like, the staircase or something. I don't know, because I'm at 26 minutes. Freaking cutscene was, like, 10 minutes. That was longer than I thought it was. Run on all that nonsense. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just call it here, because this place has got like, I wanna say five floors? Since I got, you know, the damn cutscene would have been ten freaking minutes, I'd get a lot more done, but you know what, screw it. I have time. And saves. So, when I come back, I'm gonna continue on with the other half of the first floor, probably make my way up to the second and then possibly third floor. Depending on how long that actually takes me, I don't know. We'll just see when I come back. So until then, this is Save Knight on Let's Play Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Later, guys.